I fear no man! Ah! Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. I'm a little bit bored. Let's read some astrology. Sagittarius, you're gonna die. Oh, that's, that's good. That's reassuring to me. Aries, you're gonna die. Oh, that's, that's reassuring to me as well. I don't know any Aries, though. I'm not really a fan of Aries. Uh, sorry if you are one of those. I don't really put so much investment into astrology. Not so much, but some of it's kind of true, you know, at least uh, a little bit. I don't know when this boredom's gonna go away. I've been up so long that I uh, forgot who I am all of a sudden. I'm also a little hungry and a little thirsty. A little hungry and thirsty. So I gotta take care of that. We'll take some supplies for the road, I suppose. And I'm bored again immediately. Are you kidding? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Can, can you not? Can you not? <sighs> Farming, mystery seeds, trapping. All these books are useful. I don't understand. Sheet of paper. Can you just draw a picture and not be bored anymore? I guess we'll go out into the world. And that'll stop us from being bored. Oh my god, everything's rotten. I should have eaten it earlier. Ah! Damn it. I filled up these fucking fridges and for what? For what? For nothing. That's really disappointing to me. Oh well. Sometimes this is life, you know? You, you think you're doing good. You're, you got everything under control. And it just, it just goes to hell. Alright, at least I'm a little full. Let's fill up this empty bottle. We'll take a little drinky drink. Alright. And I'm still bored. <laughs> I'm still bored. Why am I so bored? Um, I should have some MREs or something. If I bring some MREs with me, is that going to be like too many to carry or some shit? Box of MREs. Let's open this sucker. How many you got in here? 20. Yeah, that's that's a lot. <laughs> um, let's let's put a few on the shelf, shall we? I guess not. <laughs> There's not enough room on that shelf. All right, these are relatively empty. Not like I'm going to remember where they are, but if I get that hungry, then I'm going to start digging. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I think six is good. Let's get out into the fresh wide open. Getting bored. In danger of becoming unhappy. Well, guess what? You should be unhappy. All your friends and family are fucking dead. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. This is no good. This isn't right. It's time for a trip. A little trip. We're going on the road. I got my disinfectant, I got my chewing gum, I got my smoke bombs. Probably not enough nails, but, uh, I can enter the mall and get some more. At least, that's my hope. Get down. Lay down. Don't move. Yeah. That's how we do it. And I'm surprised there's just, like, a dead fly inside the zombie. Or, inside the zombie's pocket, rather, because I'm not gonna reach inside a fucking zombie. That's disgusting. I don't like it. Not none bit. Not none bit. Not one bit. <laughs> oh god! I think the uh, the mall is down this way. There's a lady chasing me, but you know, I'm so used to that, you know, the lady's not chasing me. <laughs> that's, that's a joke. That's a joke. I'm married. Don't talk to me. <laughs> oh god. Don't get up. Don't move. Please stay down. Thank you so much. Oh, there's a magazine, but we're not bored anymore. Imagine that, you start killing a bunch of fucking zombies and you're not bored anymore. Oh my god, where did all you guys come from? Where did you come from, where did you go? Actually, I know where you went. To hell! What's this eye? This is the skill panel, every skill you can learn is shown here. Learning speed de depends on your chosen profession and traits it can be accelerated by reading skill books will provide an xp multiplier for that skill xp is gained passively through repeated actions throughout your survival experience and improves the quality of your actions 
gaining skill XP also rewards you with a global XP. It is, it is this that provides points to unlock the next level of each skill once the previous level has been mastered. Yes, skill points available. We need a, a shit ton to the next one. I almost ran into a zombie. Sorry, lady. <laughs> I'm just really busy, okay? I'm doing some stuff, it's super important. Not really. I'm just trying to occupy my mind. Oh, I didn't notice how fucking broken my, my baseball bat was. I guess we'll have to keep an eye out for a sports supply store or something. And it doesn't seem like I can repair the aluminum bat at all either. Which is not good. Why why the fuck not? You can you can wood glue a baseball bat. Does wood glue not work on metal? Oh yeah, we learned this in the welding textbook. That's right. Horse hooves, etc. <laughs> Gotta use metal to stick metal to metal. Wow, that's metal. What a metal statement. <laughs> oh god. Here we go again down the railroad tracks. It's gonna be a, a pretty long journey. As it always is, but that's okay. It just means I can let my mind wander. I can talk about whatever comes to my mind. We were almost going to talk about mascots in the last uh, episode, but I kind of ran out of uh, stuff to say about it pretty quick. So we're going to we're gonna have to revisit that. Look, Ronald McDonald is just like the crappiest mascot ever. Who wants a clown as their mascot? Does it really even work? Obviously, yes, it does. The children, they just love McDonald's. They've been brainwashed. You know what I mean? If you come over to the Philippines, they got Jollibee. And there's like this stupid fat face bee. Uh, I think you could see in my most disappointing Pokemon videos why that's such a lie. Real bees are fucking terrifying. You wouldn't want to be near one, but when it when it's the mascot of a restaurant, they're like, hell yeah, I want to go there. Really, you you just want to go there because you don't know of any place better. You know, kids uh, aren't able to form their own opinions really yet. So they end up uh, just following what they've seen. They're like, oh, my friend goes to Jollibee. I want to go to Jollibee. It's like, oh my god. Please stop it. Let's go to Wendy's or something. They actually don't have Wendy's in the Philippines. I haven't seen one. Uh, they do have Wendy's in Japan. Maybe it's in the Philippines somewhere. I'm just not looking hard enough or something like that. But that is uh, some high quality fast food. The Wendy's Twitter account talks all sorts of smack to the other fast food Twitter accounts, <laughs> which is just fucking hilarious, uh, first of all. But, uh, yeah, it increases their exposure, which is really nice. You know, I've seen a bunch of people sharing pictures of Wendy's like, look at, they got burnt, uh, McDonald's got burnt by Wendy's or some shit like that. It's like, oh my god. Humans are weird, bro. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Humans are really fucking weird, but uh, Wendy's fast food is really actually pretty good. The quality of their lettuce is what really gets me. I like that nice crunch when you bite into a burger, and none of the other fast foods really understand. They're just like, here's some wilted bullshit, and I'm like, I don't want it. Take it back. And then they got like a, a cute little ginger girl for their mascot, which is Dave Thomas's daughter, apparently. And now she's all fucking grown up and doing the commercials for herself. She's like, I want some of that fame, Dave Thomas. <laughs> and Dave Thomas doesn't say anything because he's dead. He's dead! That's why she probably does the commercials. I guess that makes a lot of sense. Oh, you know what needs a fucking mascot? Black Angus. Black Angus is a nice, uh, expensive steakhouse. Which, obviously, yeah, feeds too much food to people, but... That's not that much of a problem, actually. If you want to feed me too much, I'll, I'll go ahead and box some of that shit up. That's going to be just fine. Could I use a hammer? Could I use a hammer as a, oh, as a weapon? I guess I could. It's probably not the best thing. We'll keep an eye out. I'm, I'm just looking for a baseball bat. I'll probably get a little rest here as well to get rid of that exertion. Because I want to keep on running. Box of chalk. Ooh, we could have some fun with that. Oh, look at all this. How did I leave all this behind? Oh, mmm. Always more donuts and popsicles. Yes. Uh, no sleep, but we will rest. 
And I think I'm going to end up getting tired because I woke up super early, two or three in the morning. So we'll need to be careful. Keep this in mind. And I don't want to go down that way because I am going to get stuck on the drag racing strip. And there's that fucker. He was following me. He's following me again. It's too late. It's too late. I'm gone. I'm like the wind, son. I got so many points in sprinting. I've run so fast because I only weigh 80 pounds, which also makes me kind of anemic. <laughs> I need to drink a lot of water. That's true. That's the truth. Carpentry is so close to a level as well. Do I need new skill point books? I think I have seven and eight, so I just need the uh, the master carpenting book. Master carpentry book. Look at first aid is leveling as well. What the fuck? I never thought I'd see that skill level. And then metalworking actually is a skill, which uh, I didn't realize before. So good job, Indie Stone, updating the game uh, pretty frequently, as a matter of fact. But, yeah, still no NPCs and no cars. <laughs> I, I think uh, their reasoning was like they did, just don't want to make it too OP, you know? You hop in a car, you go to the mall, you drive over all the zombies, you load the car up, fucking... And then you'll be surviving no problem. Make it too easy on the people. Which, you know, might be kind of nice, but... Yeah. I think you play Project Zomboid for like a hardcore survival experience, and... I... I... I don't actually know how useful a car would be in a real Zombocalypse. Because firstly, the cars would be uh, strewn about the road, you know? Everybody would be trying to leave the fucking city. Uh, as soon as the outbreak occurred, and then, yeah, you got the, the zombies trapped in the cars, people, zombies just coming up to the road because of all the noise of the motors, and eating people in their cars and shit, then you got more zombies, and that's just, that's just how it goes. It's a giant zombie snowball, and, uh, not the, not the, the sexual kind of snowball that we talked about earlier, you know, you know that one. Where uh, a chick spits your come back into your mouth or something like that. The the little girl's still sitting right here, but don't worry, she doesn't speak that much English, so <laughs> I can still talk about whatever I want. Basically, mostly. That's that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty. Eventually I'll have to be like, okay, children, children need to leave the room. Daddy's doing his thing now. Not jerking off, but like <laughs> Recording video games for the internet. Oh god. I, yeah, I crack myself up sometimes. It's not even that funny, but it's just... Uh, when you think about the the lunacy of what I'm sitting here doing, it's, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? You're talking about, like, sexual... sexualness and fast food mascots in the same episode. <laughs> I guess they could be related or something like that. What are some other mascots? Cereal mascots are fucking weird, man. Tony the Tiger? They're great for giving you diabetes. Don't eat Frosted Flakes, kids. Please, for me, just just don't do that. I don't think this is the way to the mall, but I kind of want to see what's down here. It could be anything. Maybe it's a second, second entrance, but, um... Yeah, I think I went a little further and waited until the road only had one one bend in it, one way to go, and I followed that down, and it led me right to the mall. But, uh, we'll see what this does. If it's another mall entrance, maybe there are some houses. Generally, people don't live near, uh, any, you know, whatever, fucking retail shops like that. You usually got, like, the place for the houses and the place for the peoples. And the only really retail thing is the groceries. Which you can go and you can visit your friend 2K and Sam. He's a bird. You trust him to make cereal, don't you? No, I don't. No, I fucking don't. That's disgusting. Birds are gross creatures shitting everywhere. They don't care. They're just like, I live in my own poop. It's like having a rat cereal mascot. <laughs> Rats aren't that gross, though. Rats are nice, in my opinion. I really like a rat. Hmm. I wonder why this has a sidewalk. 
None of the other streets had a sidewalk, but this has a sidewalk on one side. What the fuck? Who's the city planner? I'd like to talk to him. The, uh... What is it? The inspector's gonna have a field day. The inspector's gonna come down here and have a field day with you boys. I tell you what. That's right. I still don't know really where I'm going. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Is this the, the place that I want to be? It looks like a giant parking lot. Did we make it to the mall already? Ooh, yummers! Yummers! Oh my. Please don't do that. Oh, that's right, my fucking... My exhaustion's pretty high. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to knock this bitch down. I should not have started this fight. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Oh god. Oh god, they're everywhere. Um, can I go in here? Just need a place with a chair and no zombies. There's no chairs in here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I came back to this place. Oh god, they're both banging on that window now. Well, hopefully I can get my strength up before they get through it. You should be able to sit on like a toilet or something. Wouldn't that be nice? And I'm feeling a little drowsy too. Awesome. Fucking awesome. Can't sleep here. I should be able to just sleep on the toilet. If you can sleep in a chair, you can sleep on a fucking toilet. That's just a fact. I shouldn't be opening these doors like I can fucking do something. Okay, there's a zombie in there. Oh god. Oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> shouldn't have come down here drowsy as shit. Okay. I'm just gonna try and lead those guys away from the window. Maybe I can come back to Yummers at some point. Yummers! Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody, come this way. Come this way, everybody. And I'm off. And I'm out! I don't remember where the movie theater was necessarily. Hmm. Hmm. That's troubling. I guess, uh, you get dinner before the movie, you know? So, it makes sense for it to be laid out in this fashion. God. Just trying to stop them all from banging on the doors. <laughs> Could you guys not? And I'm definitely not going to try and sleep outside. That is fucking suicide. Especially in a place like this. It might make things pretty interesting, though. I think that's a... Uh, a what you call it. Oh, I know the bank. The bank has some places I can sleep. I'll sleep in the executive office. Oh, I just need a little a little lie down. Tiny little afternoon nap, which is probably gonna be a lot longer than I intended to be. But oh well. It is what it is, you know? Gonna wake up in the middle of the fucking night. <laughs> oh god, it's eight o'clock. Well it is what it is, like I say. Is what I say. Electricity's still on, which is just fucking shocking to me. But now I'm in a, a bit better shape. I could stay in the bank for the night, but I don't really want to. There ain't so much stuff in the bank for me. Oh my god, it's 9 o'clock already? How did this happen? Did we hit a time warp? What the fuck am- What? I don't understand. I don't understand anything anymore, bro. I can't- I can't anymore. That's it. That's it for me. I'm going to become a zombie. I'm going to feed myself to him. In this moment. Do enjoy. No, that's a lie. I've come this far. I have come too far to die now. It is not going to happen. He said with a little child coughing and also laughing in the background. Oh my god. I don't understand. I'd cure her if I could, but I don't have a plan. I've been giving her antibiotics and, and stuff to clear up the cough, and it's just... It's just been persistent. It's a shame. What is this place? Oh god. There's more than I thought. Nope, stay down. Oh god. Are you dead? Nope, you're not dead. He's crawling. We got a crawler. 
guess that's what happens when your blunt accuracy sucks. I was aiming for the head and I hit them in the legs. <laughs> I just missed a little, that's all. If you could like break their arms, I think they'd be a lot less threatening. Oh, thank god. Usually you want to approach the crawlers from the back, you know? Everything's fine. I think there's probably some zombies in here though. Oh, I hear you. Wow! Hey, everybody! <laughs> hey, everybody! Party time, everybody! I really wish I would have brought that shotgun. I could use my shoot gun about now. And that exhaustion is gonna go right back up through the roof. Okay. Oh my god. Back, back, back. Get down! Get the fuck down! Alright, there we go. Ha ha ha! I fear no man! Ah! Oh, and there's a straggler. What are you doing, lady? Oh. <laughs> you so silly. Alright. I'm not sure where this place is. They have broken this door quite succinctly. So this is not a good place to be. What do you got here? Brooms? Oh, aluminum bat. Its condition is not that much better, but it is a little bit. So I will take it. Why can't I fuse them together? God damn. This is not a good place to be. There's just far too many Zomboos here. Zomboo. Did I, did I put that bat back? The fuck? My brain. I can't anymore. Alright. Equip this shit. And then put the other one away. The crappy one. There you go. And we got three stars. Or three points of a star. Oh my god. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I don't think I've been in this place. It seems quite packed. And it's also quite dark. So I'm, uh... <gasps> oh! Oh, God! Oh, fuck! Oh, God! Oh, shit! Oh. <laughs> this is not good. This is really not good. I, I should just go back to the bank. There we go. One and two, and one and two. And one and two! God damn it! Dead! Dead! Everybody's fucking dead! God. Oh, wow. Alright, how many we got in here now? Looks like five. We can be careful. Oh, still five. Alright, we're fine. Everything's good. Don't panic. No panic allowed. Just, oh my god. Okay, we're panicking. Goodbye! God <laughs> damn. Should I find out what this place is at least? What the fuck is it? Is it the inside of the mall? Oh. Here we are. That was the door that I tried to avoid the last time. This mall is big, bro. I don't want to sleep out in the open again. Oh god. Let's go back to the bank. We'll head back to the bank. We'll get some sleep. Some midnight sleep. <laughs> Probably wake up a little too late tomorrow. But that's okay. I just want to do some, uh, some building. And then when I get all my shit together, I can head back into the mall and start looting it uh, little by little with all the things that I need. Which I don't really need anything, to be quite honest. To be quite honest with you and myself, I'm not in need. At all. But that's okay. I'd rather have it than not, if you want me to be completely honest. Oh yeah, eat up that MRE. You brought more than enough. 
very well fed. Yes, I am. Thank you. That was fucking crazy. I didn't expect that to be the mall so soon. But I guess we, we learned a little something. I'll keep it in mind for next time. Alright. Here's the bank. This is where I live for now. I'll be back someday to my to my bases, but at the moment we're trying to set up near the mall. Clear all this shit out. It's not as dangerous as I thought. It's uh, a pretty dangerous prospect, but it could be a lot worse. Anyways, friends, I hope that you'll join me for the next one. Find out if uh, we die or not, which I'm really hoping we don't, but... <laughs> I had quite a few scares uh, just stepping into the mall this time, so I don't know. We'll see. Fingers crossed, that's for sure. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe as well if you did enjoy the episode. That is always, always appreciated. Helps the channel to get out there and uh, we could grow even bigger. I'm looking at that 1K subs. What, what? And I'm fucking so, so excited to go into four digits. It's been so long that I've been working for it. Oh my god, and I'm almost there. All right. <clears throat> Enough of that. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. And until then, friends, bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.